using biotechnology to fight pollution. This is the challenge for a European Union research project. Under the spotlight, a specific kind of moss. We use moss because by mass it has a huge surface area. You can see all the structures and it can clean the dirt particles out of the air. We can see here that the moss has shoots or spores, and from one of these spores you can grow a new plant. And using these spores, we started to cultivate new plants in the lab. Monitoring the levels of nitrogen and sulfur oxides, and also airborne heavy metals like cadmium, lead and nickel, is hard to achieve with existing technologies, as they are either imprecise or very expensive. At Freiburg University in Germany, a team of biologists is growing the moss in a controlled environment. When we reach this stage, it's time to cultivate a larger amount of the moss. So we use a bioreactor. It has a volume of 5 litres, while here we can only work with 200 millilitres. This means that we can produce a lot more moss in a bioreactor. Plants are already in use as biological indicators as they absorb pollutants. Mosses are very well suited as bioindicators for airborne contaminants as they have no roots and a very high surface to mass ratio. One innovation is the cultivation of huge amounts of peat moss under controlled laboratory conditions. So that we are not only a Thus, we not only reduce the plant's genetic variability to the smallest possible level, one single genetic clone, but also through controlling conditions in the moss bioreactor, we can guarantee that the level of pollution in the moss, as well as its growth, are always identical. And you cannot obtain this consistency with material you've just collected from nature. These moss plants will be transferred to air permeable bags, then moved to monitoring stations at a variety of different European locations. The technique is currently being tested in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. Three different samples are exposed for three weeks in order to accumulate all the pollutants in the area, in this case from passing cars or industrial plant, but primarily it'll be general road traffic. Following exposure, the moss is dried, then powdered. Then it's analyzed to measure the level of different pollutants in it. This approach, combining molecular biology and material sciences with ecology and bionics, could be, in the future, extended to other critical environmental contexts. We're planning to use this idea, this philosophy, in other places such as rivers, fields, industrial areas. These contaminants can affect rivers which then join the sea, so polluting the marine environment. It will be possible to develop these tools and to know all the pollutants that are affecting the whole ecosystem.